What's your name? Saki, hi. Yeah. Michael Hill. Michael Hill. Yeah. And Michael, and are you happy with the freedom result? Sorry, can you repeat are that? You, are you happy with the freedom result? The result for the referendum? Um, I'm not happy, no. Why? Um, I'm, un I'm unhappy because I think it's a step backwards for the UK. Okay. Would you change your thought now if you could? Would I change my vote? Yeah. Um, no, I would stay. I would keep the same vote, which would be to stay in Europe, because um, that's what I believe we have to do. Okay. Who do you think that will be next prime minister? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, it's been suggested that Boris Johnson might mm. be a prime minister, um, so I think he may be in the running. But I'm not sure that people trust him. Mm. Um, I believe there are a number of conservatives lining up for the job but i'll be honest with you i take very little interest in who they are mm. and why they want to be prime minister three men or the campaign three men or leave campaign well if or they hello come, I mean, hello uh, what's your name uh, my name is carl sinclair and carl sinclair are you happy with the freedom the result um yeah i'm happy yeah why um because it's because it's um it's good and, and you know, and yeah, it's, it's good. Well, yeah. mm, would you change your thought now if you could? Um, no, I wouldn't change my thought. No. Who do you think will be the next prime minister? Uh, that's really kind of tough, tough one. But um, I don't. Uh, to be honest, um, I, I don't want. I don't want Gordon Brown to be back. But I, I want. To be honest, I want. I want a better prime minister that can. That can. Um, that that can uh, run the, run this country. Do you think? What direction? What direction do you think that we we you could go now if we left you? Um, I think. With the e I think the UK would I think the UK will do better without the EU because um, I mean in the EU it kinda it's it, it kinda don't I think England in the EU the England way it kind it kinda not don't fit in the EU because you know because our country is falling down and that. But without the EU mm -hmm. it's better and not just that the governments are planning to to they got plans for England and that about the EU. Okay. Do you think we will be part of the single market if we even if we left the EU? Um pro probably not. Probably not. Yeah. You don't think nah. No. Oh. Why do you think the older generation forty mainly to leave EU? Um basically basically um you know the only good thing, the only good thing that 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 is like the EU because of it basically, but the EU people for that I mean that certain they're crossing, I think they're crossing the border for people to not come in and 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 you and you make it harder for people to live to live in England without that because they got to go through a visa and that. So so I mean. We there is a massive division in the whole the UK. Yeah. So do you think wh what do you think what do you think that uh, there is a division with the whole the UK community because they say some people they make some people they say oh there is some people who resident resident for a long time in here maybe they worry how do you, how do you think about that? Um, do they think they stay the people who already in here? Yeah yeah yeah, yeah definitely yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so how do you, how do you respond? Because the EU leader is there responding angry. They say if we left the EU, yeah. How, how do you how, how do you think that the EU respond? They respond to the EU angry. Uh, it's because they're not happy. They're not basically they're not happy with the EU because you know you know because of our country. This country is being 
like absolutely poor and that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, hello. Hello. What's your name? Teresa. Teresa. Are you happy with the referendum result? Um, no. I was a voter for Remain and I was very shocked that people voted to leave. Yeah. All right. Would you change your fight now? Would you change your vote if you could now? No, I would still vote to remain. I think we should have stayed with the EU. I think that um, people's opportunities to travel and to work abroad and to support their economy is going to be hindered by this and things will get more expensive now. Okay. Who do you think will be next to Prime Minister? Because we don't have a Prime Minister now. No, that's yeah. a really hard one um, because none of them are very good candidates either, unfortunately. Um, I really couldn't take a guess at it. I really, really couldn't take a guess because I think there's a lot of infighting within the political parties um, which could also create a lot of change as well. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to say. And, and we left the EU now. Uh, what do you think? What direction do you think will go now? We have if, as we left now EU. Um, like I say, I think in terms of the economy, things will start to get quite expensive. Um, I think that socially, people are going to start to get quite angry, and I think that I think that we might unfortunately see some unrest as people start to turn on other cultures or or turn on communities that they think shouldn't be residing in the UK um, and benefiting from the UK system of income support and, and stuff. So I think that we're going to go through a bit of an uneasy time in the near future. Okay. Do you think we'll be part of single market? I wouldn't necessarily say a single market mm. because um, that encompasses an awful lot of stuff but I think we we would always be better the more of us that there are and the the more more open to negotiation we are with each other. As you think now because now you know there is a lot of response angry response with the EU. Mm -hmm. They're saying if we left the EU if they left if they leave the EU just exit as the EU Commission Chanko yeah. is a EU if the UK left just exit no, actually. How do you think the response from the EU? Um, I think right now it's probably a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. So I think you know, I think that that that's the kind of response that we expected that they want us to start acting on the vote and making those changes. But I don't think that it will happen as quickly as people think that it will. So it was an expected reaction, but I don't think that it's going to happen right away. Mm -hmm. Why do you think the older generation, 40 mile, mile need to leave? Because 70 or 90% of older people, they want mm -hmm. to leave. Um, because they're reminiscent of a previous time. Um, and, you know, they remember how the United Kingdom used to be. They remember how England used to be and unfortunately they would like things to go back to those those ways um you know back when they were younger and when we first joined the eu and but maybe even before we joined the eu as well and um, they will remember that time unfortunately the world is not the same anymore no, thank you hello and hello no, and are you happy with the referendum result um i think in terms of the result um, we have to respect the fact that it was um, the result of a democratic process. Yeah. Um, I think you have to sort of understand why people vote, voted that way. Um, and regardless of the result now, it's about how we move forward beyond the result. Um, I think it's a bit nice to say happy or unhappy at this stage now. Um, I mean, the result is what it is, um, and therefore it, it's about what happens next. It's about how that process is managed. Uh, in a sort of mature and intelligent manner. Uh, there's a massive division with the, I mean, with the community or with the whole the country, if under you. And do you think would they change their vote now if they could? 
I think one of the things that is starting to come out of the woodwork is the fact that the Leave campaign said things which, quite frankly, weren't true. Uh, and it's interesting to see them backpedal now in the news and say, no, we didn't say that. That poster isn't explicit in the way you think it is. Um, so I think and that's a very worrying thing. Uh, referendums always split people. I think there was a real concern over the fact that people voted without properly thinking about or being given the information they deserve to be given. Um, certainly the poll seems to suggest that people would vote a different way. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, because when you ask people, it may be that they kind of wish to not expose the way that they voted. We also have to remember that there's been a lot of disaffected people right across the country, across many, many different kind of backgrounds and we need to start uh, listening to what they've got to say. Um, yeah. And how, who do you think will be next Prime Minister? Because now we don't have a Prime Minister, the Prime Minister was reduced to sign. So at the moment we still have a Prime Minister. Um, the Prime Minister will still be David Cameron up until the point he stands down, uh, which will be uh, October if not before. Um, in terms of who might take over, I think him leaving has created a really interesting vacuum mm -hmm. and I'm not entirely sure is the honest answer. You've got Boris Johnson, who is obviously a very populist choice, but not necessarily amongst the people in his own party. Mm -hmm. So would he have such the same issues that Jeremy Corbyn's facing in terms of galvanising people around a cause? You've got Michael Gove, um, who is very traditionalist. But again, I think some of the issues with him is that he's not very popular. He's certainly not going to win young voters over. You've got Theresa May, but she unfortunately didn't vote to uh, leave the EU. So she is perhaps an unwise choice from that perspective. So it'd be an interesting leadership battle, certainly. Uh, we don't know now, then, um, with the country economically. What do, you, what do you think? What direction do you think the UK will go now? And we have we left EU. I think the real concern is that what we need is to get some very clever people together to make sure that what happens next is as managed as well as it can be. My concern is that that not going to happen. Um, it requires people actually working together, which seems to be the message of this whole campaign is that we don't need other people, we don't need that, but actually I think hopefully the last few days have taught us that we need that more than ever. And if there's anything to come out of the referendum result, maybe that's the message that should go out to everybody, is that we should now be working together and with our European partners um, and with our international partners to try and manage this situation and try and ensure that it impacts the least on the people to whom actually their livelihood, their survival yeah. uh, matters. Um, this isn't just a case of uh, looking at the big financial institutions, it's also the matter of looking at people's welfare, people's welfare at work. Uh, and it's about those really key fights and, and attentions to detail that need to happen for people who cannot defend themselves. Um, and sadly, if that doesn't happen, lots and lots of people, lots of innocent people are being put at risk. Do you think you, we will be part of the single market if, if tough we have left already EU? No, I think that there will be something different. I think that we may may be allowed to be entered in the single market, but I think the chances are it will be very different to what we see today. Um, so what shape that will take, who knows. Um, I think realistically we want to start thinking about a more global market trend anyway, uh, which is what the Bank of England and the people that are looking at. So it may be that towards the end that the single market evolves, which would actually probably again would be quite quite a useful benefit from this. What why do you think the 
older generation voted mildly to live because it's about 90 percent in older people they vote for live. Why do you think the older generation they vote? Um, I think it was really interesting to see how different ages voted. Um, you had the very young who voted sort of 64, 65 percent to uh, remain in the EU. And you saw the very old generation, ones who fought in World War II, mm. voting to remain. Mm. And you had a pocket in between who seen uh, rises in immigration, mm. who have felt disempowered by politics, mm. disenfranchised by their own community. Um, and this was a stand that they were making against that. The concern that I have is that making a change like this because you feel hard done by mm. is perhaps a very selfish attitude to have taken. Um, I don't think it was taken maliciously. Mm. I think people feel that they can go back to a time sort of back in the 1950s, 60s and actually that's not possible, turning the clock back is impossible and it's this fantasy and, and unfortunately I think it's a fantasy that's been fed by politics uh, and unrightly so and I think that there's a real danger that that fantasy will fall um, sort of around them now and I think that we're starting to see that happen over and over again. This idea that we can take control, it, it's all a, a, a big uh, ideological um, fairy tale that they're telling these people and sadly these people are buying it. But at the moment we don't have a Prime Minister. We are just temporary Prime Minister. The Prime Minister will sign until October. And the EU is saying, come on, we, no, we don't need more deals. So they need quick to discuss. How do you think that they, how do they respond to the EU countries? Uh, I think the other countries are deeply concerned. Mm. I think that, particularly with what happened financially, mm. um, I think the EU wants it done very quickly, mm. um, whereas the UK uh, would li like to wait. Um, what influence they can have over us choosing when and when we can't leave, I don't know. They can certainly put political pressure on, but actually, if the Prime Minister is leaving, that may not be meaningless. Mm. Um, it's in our as a country, I think it's in our interests to map the process out very carefully, involve as many different factions within sort of, uh, Scotland, Ireland, Wales as possible, uh, and to make sure that it's non party politics. I don't know what he said, so I'm not agreeing with what he said. Right. So, so do you think the EU now has stay feeling like as a hostile with the United Kingdom as they say we you mean you show you don't want us like as they said Uh, does speak volumes, I think it speaks volumes to the right people as well, but 52% chose